Getting approval to become a CPA publisher in the best networks means that you will need to do a little bit of advanced planning and that includes setting up your website. This preparatory work will pay off well though, so it is worth taking the time for. The following steps should make it easy. 1. Get your own URL. Having your own dedicated site looks much better than having some sort of extension added to a free site such as www.freesite.com slash mywebsite. GoDaddy.com or Register.com are both great domain registry sites that should cost under $15 for each domain that is purchased. It's best to choose a .com address because that is what most people automatically look for. Also, choose a name that is relevant to the market you want to promote. If you aren't sure, choosing a short, catchy, and easy to spell name is your best option. Also, begin using an email address that has your URL in it, such as jimmybays at mycpasite.com. This is especially important to use for registering at the CPA networks because they will probably turn you down immediately if they see you're using a free email service to do business through. 2. Create a professional looking website by either paying a webmaster or using free services such as WordPress. Not only is WordPress free with loads of plugin options, it is used by Fortune 500 companies. So yes, it's that good. WordPress is created to be extremely user friendly to set up and launch. Just follow those step by step instructions at WordPress.com. In no time, you will be ready to design your site. You might want to add separate pages, such as an About Us page, Contact Us page, General Blog page, separate landing pages or other pages, and those are simple to include just by choosing New Page in the WordPress dashboard. For blog posts, you just click on New Post to publish a new post that will show up on your blog page. 3. If you aren't sure what pages to add to begin with, start with the About Us page and Contact page. These are the most important because it allows the CPA network to see that you are professional and easy to reach. It also helps build trust that you are a legitimate business and not someone just hoping to put up some junk site. Then adding a blog page or sales page will help further demonstrate that you have the skills they are looking for. 4. Think about what niche products or services you are most interested in selling and create your website around those. If you want to promote a collection of CPA ads, you certainly can, but try to stay as relevant as possible for the best results or consider setting up separate websites for completely different topics. This is the best way to become successful because people will feel like you are an expert in whatever topic or topics you are promoting over having tons of ads that don't have anything to do with each other. For example, if you own a hunting website, you probably wouldn't come across as being relevant for teenage girl acne products. But if you had a self-improvement or business site, there are literally hundreds of different types of products that would all be relevant to promote. 5. Keep your design themes, including colors and images, in mind to create an appealing website so the CPA network will see that you will represent their advertisers in a tasteful manner. WordPress has a great selection of themes you can choose from. Then you can upload your own high quality images or find them at services such as thinkstock.com or stockfreeimages.com to name a few. 6. Add some high quality content so you can demonstrate to the CPA networks that you will represent their advertisers in the best possible way. You can outsource article writing or write your own blog posts. 7. Include valuable keywords throughout your entire site to make it appeal better to the search engines, but avoid keyword stuffing. What this means is if you're selling health and fitness products, you will want to use keywords such as health and fitness, diet or exercise that are relevant to the products you would like to eventually promote and only use them a couple of times on each page. 8. Make sure and add social media sharing buttons as well so your website visitors can share the information with their social media networks. 
You can also install a plugin that will automatically share your content with your own social media networks. Speaking of social media sites, when the CPA networks see that you encourage social media engagement and pursue social media sharing, they will be even more likely to quickly approve you as a publisher because the social medias are the most valuable marketing mediums online outside of search engine optimization. The best social media networks will have the highest concentration of the market you are hoping to appeal to, such as Reddit for the young and hip crowd or LinkedIn for the business crowd. Of course, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus are a given for no matter who your target market is. Pinterest and Instagram are two of the fastest growing social media sites to become engaged with, especially if you're promoting products or services that have a great collection of images to use for these sites. Here are some quick tips for setting up social media sites. Pick one username that will be universal for every social media site you become engaged with. Ideally, this will be the name of your URL, or at least as close as possible, in order to tie in with your actual business website. When you set up each account, make sure they all link to each other to further boost your success rates across the board. This option will show up in the account area where you set each social media site up at. Also, use the same branding themes such as specific image, logo, and colors. This builds your brand exposure because people will learn to recognize your image. Google Plus and Facebook require you to have a personal account first. Then you can create a business page separately from your personal page. You will see how to do this at each of the respective sites. Take your time completing the About Us section on each social media site, not only to make it look more professional, but to help work in those valuable keywords. You can use similar content for each, but try to add the content in a unique way for each site, as simply copying and pasting from your website is not the best practice. Work on getting people to join or like your social media pages, but don't pay for someone to add a bunch of junk accounts. Instead, invite colleagues or others who will more than likely become good prospects when you start to market. When you have your websites and social media sites set up to look professional and active, you will be that much closer to gaining approval with the CPA networks you choose to become involved with. Then you just have to go through the forms to submit your application. You can also contact them to let them know that you submitted your application. When you have a plan of action that you can briefly share with them to demonstrate you have the professionalism and knowledge to make a great publisher, your approval is almost guaranteed.